Hello everyone, this is Krishna Machotri and I would like to welcome to you in this SQL Server tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about database and queries about the database like how to create, enter, modify, rename, deleting a database. And so we have required following tools like SQL Server of any version. So you can download updated version and one tool also SQL Server Management Studio. So in this tutorial we will learn following we will cover following topics like database, system database and uh, how to create elder rename and delete database. So before move forward, first we have to understand what is the database. Database is a storage location where we can store our business data or local data. Or we can say that a database is a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easily assessed, managed and updated. Data is organized into rows, columns and tables and it is indexed to make it easier to find relevant information. Data get updated, expanded and treated as new information is added. Database causes workloads to create and update themselves, querying the data they contain and running application against it. Now we understand how to create database in SQL Server. So I just open the tool this SQL Server Management Studio. Like this is our tool SQL Server Management Studio. So when you will log in in this in this uh, tool, like I just sign out and re again, re sign. I'm connecting in this uh, SQL Server to, uh, Management Studio tool. So it's showing server type, database engine, and server name. This is my PC name and SQL Server Express is instance name. So authentication we use in window authentication. I just connect and see. Here, this instance is open. In this, several things like database security, server objects, and so on. so many things. So, before we start creating new database, I would like to show you the system defined database that available in current instance. Like in this instance, in database, this system database is available. So I just expand it and show you the like four database is given. Okay. So in this first database is master database. So the master database basically used to record all the system level information for a SQL server system. This include instance wide metadata such as login account endpoints linked servers and system configuration setting in SQL Server system objects are no longer stored in the master database instead they are stored in the resource database also master database is the database that records the existence of all other database and the location of those database files and records the initialization information or for SQL Server. Therefore, SQL Server cannot start if the master database is unavailable. So, for initialization of the any database in this instance, we require master database. Now, next database is model database. So, model database. This station. This this database is used as the template for all database created. On an instance of SQL Server because TAMP TV is created every time SQL Server is started. The model database must always exist on a SQL Server system. The entire content of the model database include database options are copied to the new database. Some of the settings of models are also used for creating a new TAMP TV during startup. So the model database 
must always exist on a SQL server. So now next database is MSDB. MSDB database is used by SQL Server agent for schedule, scheduling alerts and jobs and by other features such as SQL Server Management Studio, Server, Service, Broker and Database Web. Now last database that is present is uh, TempDB. So this system database is a global resource that is available to all users connected to the instance of SQL Server or connected to SQL database like temporary users object that are explicitly created such as global or local temporary tables and indexes, temporary store processors, table variables, table return in table valued functions or cursors. Internal objects that are created by the database engine. These include work table to store intermediate result for schools, cursors, sorts, and temporary large object stories. Or work files for has join and has aggregate operations. So, so Let's begin creating database. So I just show you a simple syntax how to create a database. So create database and here we can get database name. And this is a syntax. So here we can use copy it and paste it here we can give give a we can give a name of the database that we want to create so i just give you my first database okay and i just execute this query So our command is complete successfully. So as we can see, it is not reflecting here. So I just refresh this database, and we see that our database has been created. Okay. So this is the one approach, and uh, we can use uh, other approach also. So I just uh, right click on this database and uh, create a new database from here and in the database name I give a name of the database like my second database ok so here we can give all our name as for requirement here when we create here two file will be generated so first file will be a primary file or we can say mdf file so this file data file contain data and objects such as table indexes store process and views and the second file log file that log file contain the information that is required to recover all transactions in the database so in this we can see that uh, initializing size like 4 MB given to primary file and 1 MB is given to log file and uh, this auto generate auto growth and max size will be unlimited here and for both and here we can see that this path is given where this these uh, files are stored like I show you so when we open so this will be this is save in my C drive in program files inside the SQL server and my instance in the instance this data and in the in this data these files are stored. So I just copy this and I show you 
identify here you can see that my full database are stored here and each and every database have two files one file is m primary file mdf file and other file is log file so this is the log file uh, now just i click on ok button and i see like our database second database has been created it is not reflected so we have to refresh it again i refresh it and see like my second database has been created so this is the process we use two approaches to create database now we use how to create how to rename the database name in sql server okay so to rename database in sql server we can simple use this system stored procedure that's name is sp underscore rename db this is a system defined store processor due to that due to this uh, uh, store processor we can create uh, we can rename the store processor data database name so i show you the syntax for uh, renaming database by using system store processor so we use this store processor name and i just give old database name here like old database comma and new database here second name is new database Okay, so this is the syntax for renaming of a database name with the help of system defined store processor. So I just rename the first database, the my first database name. Okay, so I just copy it. I just write this uh, name. I just copy from here and uh, paste here. And a new name that we want to give, like my rename database. Okay, my rename database, and I just execute it and see the database name. My rename has been set, so it is not reflecting here. So I just refresh it. see like my renamed rename database so this query has been successfully completed and i am going to rename with the help of second approach and uh, second approach is just using the alter and modify so I give you syntax first. Like alter database name database. Here I give you old database name old database and modify name sorry, name is equal to new database okay so this is the syntax for second approach by using alter and modify so i just use same syntax to modify this name so i just uh, rename this uh, to a first name okay Old database name that is exist here my renamed renamed database and uh, I just copy to this first one my first database so I just copy here and I execute so here it is not reflecting again we have to refresh it 
here we can see that like my first database so this is the approach second approach and uh, third approach that we are use like graphical user interface so that is we just double click on the database name right here and we give any name according to our wish like my third yes okay and so this name is changed by graphic user interface now okay thank you for watching this video if you like please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and please like and comment and share this video Thank you for watching.